Hello everyone and welcome back to the finale, or the planned finale, of Sorcerer's Kingdom for uh, Sega Genesis. Um, you notice that I'm back at the ruins where the Lich is, and that's because I found a hidden treasure that's definitely worth showing. If you go here and use text, you'll find the rune armor, which is the second best armor. I already got it, so obviously it didn't show up. I also went back in the ruins and went into the labyrinth area near the final save point and I made sure I got all the equipment out of there. It's mainly rune equipment, you know, so it's good, but it's not game breaking. Uh, oh, we had to head to Dragon Rock. I just talked to this person, see what he says. Let's talk to this elf. I like this music. It's victorious. Whoa. Oh, and uh, you may hear some cars in the background, because <laughs> the uh, at the local racetrack, there's indie practices. Harkin. <laughs> That's where it needs to come back. Nobody really says Harkin anymore. That sword looks pretty cool. Uh, what with the sword being inhabited by spears, it kind of reminds me of shard blades from the Stormlight Archive series. Owls of Evil. <laughs> the asshole of Vileness awaits. Element Sword. Elemental sword. Apparently our sword is sentient. Spirits. Oh, this looks weird. Okay, let's see how good it is. Wow. Look at what it does to obviously attack, <clears throat> but it also increases our offense by 2,000, our strength by 20, and our luck, which I think is critical, hits by 20. That's amazing. Um, let's see, yeah, I found another Mithril Axe, and I found this Earth Sword. Now, the Earth Sword is a bit heavier than Mithril equipment, so that's why it wasn't on, it equipped on my hero to start with, but it does increase your hit points by 500. So I gave it to Astina. In fact, looks like that Elemental Sword also increased my hit points by 500, so let's heal him up. Okay, let's get started. Ooh, what are these? Pyrohydra. So it's a fire hydra. Ah, I don't really hit that hard. Probably because I have such great equipment. I have a lot of hit points though. Okay, 1500 HP. 10,000 gold. That is literally useless. Gold ceases to have any meaning once you leave the ice area, honestly. But then you should have all the equipment you need. And then you just start finding major upgrades. Yeah, this, at this point in the game, it's really uh, just the hero, as he can do triple the damage of anybody else. He's got the most HP, and he's got the best defense, because he can use equipment that uh, cuts off magic use. Uh, let's just use magic quick. I want to try to preserve 
Mitty's equip or Astina's magic as much as I can. Uh, let's try uh, test out Elred's final magic spell, Explosion. Cause 150 mana, but it does a crap load of damage. Just insane amounts. Oh, and these Pyrohydras have Mithril Chain as a random drop. Fortunately, it's not really useful anymore. Wizard Armor. Now this is good armor. It's obviously meant for Elred. Let's see. He's wearing Mithril Chain right now. 25 increase. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, it seems like I forgot to sell an extra Earthroll Helm. Huh. Oh well. Well, what's this? Dead soldiers? Well, these are probably those stupid trumpeteers a king took. You can't just give them armor and expect, expect them to survive. They're musicians, damn it. You should have took the knight. Oh, his, uh... His dialogue is coming choppier, so he's obviously dying. Oh, that's kind of poignant. Kneeling to the king. Or the corpse of the king. Okay, this looks suspicious. Uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Whoa, mini boss time! Let's just use explosion. So good. Almost one shot him. Okay, these Leviathans, as you can see, they're casting second level spells. Really, no problem. Uh, let's just cast Spark, see if we can finish them off. Nope. Okay. These things are going to be very weak, though. One hit should probably do it. I'll even let Midi and Astina get involved. Oh. Huh. Alright, points are so good. Oh, man. Oh well. I'll let Estina get it a hit. Just on the off chance it'll increase her hit points and then start moving with the hero. Oh look at that damage. Spirits are super powerful. How did they get captured? Let's just one more attack with Midi on that. No! I am going to kill this thing just using Midi. Determined. There we go. Yeah, let's move Astin out of the way. Her offense is pretty bad. Excellent victory. Okay, hit point increases. Oh, I got an MP increase. Okay, I went through like all my mana. 
Uh, well, first let me just heal everybody. Restore is a cure-all, or I think it heals 2,000 hit points for everybody in the party. Okay, what I'm going to do is leave this cave, teleport back to town, and teleport back. I will meet you right here. And we're back. This looks crazy. Oh, let's take this chest. Whoa! It's a trap. Well, this is why I went back. Just so I could cast my magic again. Okay, these have about 4,500 hit points. And they hit hard. But luckily, because of that spell, everybody should be able to one-shot them. Excellent. See what's in here? Caesar armor. Okay, 500. Oh, 565. Uh, slightly better. Okay, I will trade the rune armor to. Oh, no. He's got the wizard armor. What am I doing? Good increase. Okay. Uh, let's check HP. Yeah, we're fine. Caesar gloves. I gain five defense, but I lose one range. I guess. I guess, game. That one was difficult, though. Whoa! Got us again. Let's do the same thing. One explosion, and then the rest are easy to mop up. Oh, dead. Oh, wow. This one killed a couple of them. Red involved, maybe he'll get a hit point increase. His, his HP is very low. Okay. Oh, look at that counter attack. Oh no, he just got an offense increase. Caesar boots. Okay, let's trade gloves, boots. That is a huge defensive upgrade. Pretty good. Okay, let's carry on. Caesar helm. Oh, I see. <laughs> this room gives you upgrades quick. Oh, I lose two range. Oh, let's do it. Well, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. Heal point. Nice. That means I don't have to walk all the way back next time I want to heal. Chimeras. Pretty scary looking. This is probably, if you want to do any uh, stat grinding in this dungeon, this is the best place to do it. Because these chimeras are pretty tough, and you're right by a healing point. You cannot ask for better situation. Um, yeah, let's just keep on attacking. I kind of want to save my MP now, I don't want to have to walk back. Even though it is just like five feet. I 
And these things do pretty good damage. Nice. Um, let's see if there's a treasure chest in this corner. Nope. I don't really think there's any secret passages in here. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but... Okay, let's just fight this guy. Oh, Firestorm. And he does it with a decent amount of power, too. Oh, it does not look like there's any treasure. Another healing point. What green hair? Could it, oh, it is Kanan. Um, this medicine it cures poison, it cures all status ailments, and it um, resurrects a party member if they're dead. Come on, you know better than that. You never believe in an antagonist when they tell you something. Who's that dude with him? Hey, why should you get the throne, old man? I'm the one who's saving the world. Master, that's the same rank as Midi. So he's probably a capable fighter. Okay, this is the final mini boss of the game. Let's put that in there. Uh, thank God for Elrad. Just, yeah, just use Explosion twice. And if by some miracle they're not dead, then, uh, just mop them up pretty easily. So good. Yeah, let's just head back right here and heals MP. And our father's already gone. And here we go. Heading to fight the final boss in the game. He just made most of the room dissolve into nothingness. That's pretty awesome. Amazing music. Tell you the soundtrack to this game. So good. Okay. Now, there is room for three of your party members to fight him. In fact, I think you can actually move anywhere. But, I'm just going to fight. I'm just going to put one character in melee. And have the other three defend. Because if you put more characters in melee, he gets extra attacks with his claws. Okay, that's not too bad. Now we are going to uh, buff our party leader. I think quick gives you more attacks, power makes you stronger. Okay, let's uh. He did 2100 without the buffs. Okay, he did less. Huh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Wow. The power up is pretty weak. Okay, um. Yeah, still good. And now it might be time. Okay, no, that's weak. 
You see, when I was a kid, this boss was hard because I didn't realize that you could switch party members at the start of a turn. So I would just pray that Astina would get to go so she could heal everybody. But now this boss is probably one of the easier bosses in the game. Especially if you have a couple magic potions from grinding that spellcaster near the waterfall. I just get out random balls and explosions, see how much damage it does. Because if one of your magic users gets low on uh, mana, that's really all you have to do. Yeah, I'll cast explosion again. More damage than what I'm hitting him for. Still looking good. Uh, let's use revive. It's a full heal. I'm getting pretty low on mana. Ah, it's still okay. I think I have another revive cast in me. I mean, for me, I could just fight this with Alanon, no problem. They could all die, I could just let them die and it'd be easy, but I want to keep them all alive, damn it. I haven't had a game over since part one, and that didn't even happen. It was all a dream. Ooh, double spell. Okay. Okay. Use a magic potion. Must be two fifty. Um Let's fight again. Elrad might die here. Yeah, he's gonna be dead. No! Give him a thousand HP. I might just let him die. This is gonna take forever. Oh! We did it! You're dead. Don't let the spirits go! Think about all the power you have! You could rule the world! You just defeated the ancient evil! You didn't seal it away like the pussies before you! It would be so easy for our party members to just take control. I have no vision. Blood Island is starting to collapse. Hey, this isn't where you teleport in. So he was able to make it home, and be coronated, and find new trumpeteers! In just like five minutes! He works quick. But he's already gained a ton of weight it looks like. Just met me like 
Ten minutes ago! Who the hell are you, master? Well, I mean, now that you have the Caesar equipment, you're unstoppable. Continue in your. St you could probably run your own school. You already have explosion! What better powers are there? Ah, oh, This ending part is really irritating me. Uh, where- How much further can you go? You just defeated the ancient evil! Sauron's dead, Mr. Frodo! Now the credit sequence is starting. Uh, I, I really like this game a lot. Um, it's one of those games also that you can play like back to back. You know, you play one way and you figure out a more efficient way to do something and you just want to test it. This game is really only like, I'd say, with all the grinding, six or seven hours long. It's not a very long game. Why are we going back to talk to the wizard? Oh, maybe to give him those wings. But yeah, I mean, it's great. It's criminally underrated in my opinion. It was overlooked because there were more popular RPGs on Genesis like Shining Force and Fantasy Star. And the, the characters are bland, I'll say it. There's really only personality right before they join, and then they're like silent the rest of the game. And so I, I think that could have been done a little bit better. Plot, it's kind of what you'd expect. Pretty minimal. I like the graphics for this game. It's kind of different. It's good. I've already mentioned basically in every part about how much I like the music. It's so good. The battle system, I like. Uh, it's turn-based with a little strategy element. I mean, yeah, it's very rudimentary strategy, but there's still strategy. It's all about positioning. Yeah, he's, he's dropped off Mitty, now we're dropping off Astina. But, yeah. I enjoy it. Wait, where, why are we going up here? Blood Island's gone. Wait. Where's Alred going? Where is he from? He doesn't have the teleport spell. Did, did he steal our map? We stole our map, why did he have to go up there? He could have teleported anywhere. I demand answers, game. Uh, I really wish uh, Traco made a sequel to this game. I, mean, I can understand why they didn't, because it obviously wasn't popular. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed making it. Uh, next week, I'm going to be starting my next Let's Play. It's going to be Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. It's a more popular game than this, but I still think it's underrated. Uh... It, along with Final Fantasy X, in my opinion, are the best RPGs on the PS2. And like this game, it, it actually has a similar battle system. Very similar, in fact. Uh, Turn-based, but you can position your characters around the battlefield. There are a few differences, obviously they've upgraded it quite a bit. But, until then, this has been Let's Play Sorcerer's Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everyone. Alanon plays out.